Hello everyone, welcome back. So a lot of you guys have reached out and said that my journey with my plants has really inspired you to try plants for yourself, which is, for me, it's a big thing. Like, it makes me really happy to see people enjoying the plants and trying it because I think there's a lot of stigma with plants in the aquarium hobby. And the first one is I think people think you need to be a really good aquascaper to enjoy plants in your tank, which isn't necessarily the case. You can have a lot of success with a planted tank without aquascaping or with just a basic aquascape layout and the irony is, is a lot of these aquascapers don't even use that many plants it's more rock and wood and stuff so and another thing i've noticed everyone who wants to try planted tanks the first thing they're asking me is so that they're my tank now no not really well i love a dirty tank there's certain types of plants that'll do well in a dirty tank and there's some plants that don't really need it because they'll feed mainly from the water column so what i thought we'd do is start off with a really basic tank this one's just got sand in, we'll give it a clean out and we'll change it over and just set up a really basic planted tank. I've put a piece of wood in here for phase two of setting up a really basic planted tank. So I understand a lot of people want to get into planted tanks because the benefits they offer, you know, everyone's talking about the ecosystem. Now, with an ecosystem, when we use the term ecosystem, basically the what I can say is as soon as you get enough plants in your tank like a few plants in your tank you go you can straight away you can go from weekly water changes to let your nitrates build up to 20 and then do a 50 percent water change and then let them build back up to 20 so as your plants start growing that time between water changes that time between a hit and 20 parts per million in your nitrates will get further and further apart so what i've done is i've bought some really basic plants and we'll get them in here, we'll set it up, and then I've got some wood, we can do some more plants in a couple of weeks. I've got some really simple plants, let's have a look at what I've got. So what I've got here is Hygrophilia deformis, known in the hobby, the kids on the streets, as dust in a day, as water sprite. This is one of them plants that you can put in, it's, it's bunched, it isn't in a pot, it's got a little lead weight, you know, like those old school 80s aquarium keepers used to get. So what I'm thinking of doing is just throwing that straight in. Um, so it's simple as simple. And then what we have here is, I can't even pronounce that, it's hormort. So, and that's not much hormort. <laughs> I wanted it bunched. I ordered bunched. And I, I've treated myself because I can't find none of this locally. Um, you don't have to try this. This is a little bit more advanced. It's still a really simple, easy beginner's plant, but to have success with it, you need to put a bit more effort into the setup. But I've bought that for me so I can grow it out and maybe get it outside in the summer and grow it out a bit more. But we've got two plants here that are really simple. Just put them in any type of tank. You could use gravel, sand, and we can start building our planted tank up that way. Remember I was talking about when I was once to set up my wall start tank? I said I wanted to get some plants, transition them. Then get them in my wall start. This was going to be wall start that ended up being my wall start. But so what I thought I'd do is get some simple plants that don't need any extra requirements. You can just go in any sort of tank and we can start having a bit of success with our plants. And it'll encourage us to do a bit more. So what I'm going to do, tidy this tank up a bit and get them in there and show you a really simple planted tank. So I'll give the tank a good clean out, it took all the mum and the bits of algae and stuff that were in there. If we've got algae we just need to get more plants in and maybe turn the light down a bit. It's usually an imbalance between the amount of CO2 in the tank and the light and the nutrients. But nutrients alone don't cause an algae outbreak, it's usually excessive light without CO2 so the plants can't photosynthesize the nutrients.
So there we go guys, this is a really simple beginners planted tank, so we've got some, so we've added some water wisteria, now this water wisteria has been grown out of water, which I'm quite disappointed with, um, in a way, because if a new person's going to put that in the tank, it's going to transition, the new growth's going to grow out under water, so you're going to have to give it a bit of time before it starts absorbing nutrients, because it needs to convert, and then the amount of home water got for the money I paid, come on, it's like one of the easiest flow. One of the easiest plants to grow. Why did they get that? For that. A bit disappointed with that, to be honest. Um, so what I ended up doing was getting a ton of Lemnophilia sesifolia out of there, um, which is another. It's supposed to be like a really simple plant to grow, but I found it. It really struggled to get going in my tank, so I took all the cuttings out of that tank ahead of schedule, put them in this tank just to fill a bit more space. Um, so I'm quite disappointed with that because really. Still got enough to fill there with the, the amount of money I paid. I've added the dwarf sage. Yeah, it ties in nicely actually because I've been talking to someone who can get some plants for me. Um, and what I was thinking of doing is maybe even offering some cheap beginner plants for people um, and they'll be cheap. I don't want to make any profits off it. What I want to do is offer some simple, easy beginner plants to people because I find when I'm shopping for plants, usually I'll end up having to shop around and pay like three, four types of posted so let me know you know it'll help support the channel it'll help get you guys some beginner plants i thought it'd help out if you think well just after the money then we'll leave it that's not what i'm after so this is a really simple planted tank these plants will absorb all the nutrients out the water like sponges they'll suck all the nutrients out the water if you get some floating plants in there as well we can put some floating plants in and we can gauge the nutrient levels in the water from the floating plants with the growth of these we don't really need fertilizers um, we can touch on that in future videos but I put the wood in there, so once these have established and got grown out and they look like this, we can add some more plants to the front. Uh, we can add some more plants to the wood, some nice looking plants. Um, some, But the problem is the slower growing, so you want to get something in the tank that's going to take off, absorb all the nutrients, balance the tank, and then we'll get some nicer plants in on the wood, and then some other showpiece plants in. There's other plants like that they recommend as beginner plants, like Amazon swords, things like that. Crypts, but the heavy root feeders. So what we need to do is get our tank going, get it absorbing nutrients, get it balanced. These are the type of plants that will balance your tank, and then we can start adding something that's a little bit more technical, but it's still easy, still beginner friendly. But the tank's balanced, and it can take something a bit more challenging than massively challenging. You just need certain conditions to do well, and these plants will balance the tank, ready for that. So let's have a look at the plants. So here we've got the water sprite, as you can see that, that's been grown out of water. For such an easy plant, why didn't they grow it under water? The charging top prices, I mean, it's supposed to be deformed, it's supposed to be split in the leaf like there is with the limnophilia. It's obviously been grown out of water, it's not the best plant. And then we've got a tiny little sprig of foam wort down there. You know, it's a fast growing plant, but it's got to grow exponentially to do anything. And then there's the limnophilia that popped in. That's the amount of plants I think you should get as a beginner plant. Um, and then the yellow deer denser, that's another one and then the phallusneria, the yield grass at the back so these four plants I'd recommend you try at least a couple of them first the valle you, you can see it's sending out runners and as you can see there's a little tiny plant there that's what it'll do, it'll spread around your whole tank you'll have phallusneria everywhere which is this grass looking one and um, grows really well absorbs loads of nutrients hello dear denser that's my favorite beginner plant it'll spread all across the tank and then the limnophilia once that gets going that turns into a jungle the water wisteria that gets going that's another one that absorb all the nutrients in flying and then the home wort i suggest getting a couple two or three and maybe one doesn't do well in your water you still got one or two 
that will fly in your water you'll find which ones and that's what you tend to do you find plants that are doing well might do well in your water might not live in your water or you might just do a bit of research to find out how to keep it in your water plants are like fish some will do well in your water some might need a bit of tinkering with some are a bit more advanced we got all a ton of these simpler to keep plants that will absorb balance all the nutrients and then get some floating plants in there that will let you know where your nutrient levels are at and then we can look at maybe fertilizing but low tech fertilizing bit of a tricky situation I think usually you're better off feeding your fish a bit heavier feeding the tank heavier like Diana Wallstad suggests this would we're going to put a ton of we're going to put a ton of simple plants in there but we want to get the tank balanced first so there we go guys i want to set up a really simple tank it's just got sand and a bit of gravel and um, it's got these plants that will do well in anything and then these i deliberately left them on the uh, bunch so to show you that you can do that and it'll still do well it'll root itself eventually you might even be able to go in there and just trim that bit off because the rest of it will be rooted i want to put the wood in there so just to show that we can have a bit of rock and wood um, you just can have a play around with it make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing I just wanted to get it in there just the rocks just in there just to hold the, the gravel so I can get these rooted in there and then the wood's just in there so I can put some some plants that will live on the wood I can glue them on or tie them on I'll show you a couple of neat tricks actually that I don't think anyone else is doing but we can add some like mosses and just big leaf plants so so let me know what you think guys, you know, would you just be interested in me if I got some, because you have to quite buy order quite a bit, um, if I could get some say like water wisteria, valisneria, elodea densa, hormort, if I could bring them in, maybe a couple of floating plants, offer you guys them, if they do well, I can order more, and then when I set these up, I can order some of them in as well, it's, you know, I haven't got a massive amount of space to store them, and you need to order quite a few better plants, bit of, investment from me but I want to do it for you guys I want to help you have a bit of success with some beginner planted tanks any questions that you might have that I haven't answered in the video feel free to pop them in the comments section if you like what I'm doing give this video a like if this video has helped you to inspired you to try a few beginners plants Please give this video a like, it'll tell YouTube to show other people it. And if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing, it helps the channel grow. I'll offer you more content like this. Take care guys.